The Reflection of Part 4. The days of silence had made Sarah hopeful. The mirror hadn't stirred and the cracks had stopped spreading. It felt like the nightmare might finally be over. Maybe the demon had been defeated. Standing before the mirror, she studied her reflection, just her, tired but unharmed. She let out a shaky breath and touched the glass, her fingertips grazing the cold surface. Maybe it's really done, she whispered, feeling the weight of relief washing over her. But as her breath fogged up the mirror and began to fade, something else appeared. Behind her reflection, another face emerged. It wasn't hers. The figure was a woman, pale and grinning, her eyes hollow and black. Sarah's heart lurched. She turned around quickly, but the room behind her was empty. No one was there. She spun back to the mirror and the figure was gone. Only her own reflection remained. Before she could catch her breath, a sharp sound filled the air. The mirror began to hum. The cracks started to spread again, faster and more violently this time. The reflection in the mirror twisted. The woman returning, her smile unnaturally wide. Then in an instant, her hand shot through the glass, gripping Sarah's wrist with a cold, decayed hand. Sarah screamed, yanking her arm back. But the hand held firm, pulling her closer to the mirror. From the cracks, dark tendrils snaked out, wrapping around Sarah's legs, binding her to the spot. Her breath quickened as the woman's grin grew even wider, her eyes burning with malice. You thought you were free? The reflection hissed, her voice cold and mocking. Sarah struggled, but the tendrils tightened, pulling her toward the dark void inside the mirror. She gasped for breath, the cold creeping up her body, threatening to pull her in. Then, as quickly as it had started, everything stopped. The tendrils retreated, the mirror was still, and Sarah collapsed to the floor, shaking. She looked up. The cracks had vanished, and her reflection, just her own, stared back. Was it over? Had she escaped? Her phone buzzed on the table. She picked it up, her hands trembling. It was a message from an unknown number. Turn around. Sarah's stomach dropped. Slowly, she turned toward the mirror again. Her reflection was gone. In its place, a young girl stood smiling sweetly. The girl looked just like Sarah had when she was a child. You don't remember, do you? The girl said, her voice soft but sinister. You invited me in. Sarah's heart stopped. Memories of a childhood game, a chant, and a mirror rushed back to her. Mirror, mirror on the wall. The girl's smile twisted into something horrifying. And now you'll never leave. The room plunged into darkness as shadows erupted from the mirror, pulling Sarah in. And then silence. For part five of Sarah's Nightmare, don't forget to like and subscribe. The reflection isn't finished yet.